Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Today I'm going to share with you something that's actually pretty refreshing because day by day, week by week, it's tough to see the progress out here, at least from my seat on this side of the camera. And I had somebody comment on a video that I published last February, February 2020. And so it's been like, what is that, 14, 15 months since that, that content was published. And I went and watched a bit of that video when I responded to the comment and I could really see a big difference between our trees in the field back last February versus our trees in the field now. Right now, standing all around me are the trees that we planted this past fall. They are still quite small. They're also very sensitive to dry weather, which we're having right now. And that's another thing that I'll kind of share with you in this video. So follow along, it's gonna be a fun one. All right, so before I get the pump going, I'm just going to show you this. Like I mentioned, I'm in this section now with our canane firs that we planted last fall. Those trees are still quite small. And all I'm going to do is just pick a spot here in between two trees. I'm going to dig into the ground with this little shovel. I'm going to try to get down about four or five inches, which is when these trees were planted, that's all the, the, the roots were. They were just about that long and that was it. So, uh, you know, these trees have not established yet a very deep and robust root system. So when things get dry, they, uh, they get stressed in a hurry. And many of these trees are already starting to show some signs of stress, which is why I want to get the irrigation going. So my shovel test, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to dig a little plug. Okay, and this is pretty good because you can see here now we've got a good cross section of what this soil looks like down several inches and you can see down even in the bottom of the hole in the bottom of this plug that this soil down here while it still has a little bit of moisture it's starting to get crumbly and what I've learned about our soil is that when there's adequate moisture you can you can compress this into a good firm ball and this is not quite there and the top, what the top couple inches is very dry and you know just turns to dust so this is very concerning for me right now i need to get water on these trees and many of these trees could probably also use some wood chips i haven't gotten around to putting wood chips around all of our trees yet but um yeah i'm gonna hook up the pump and get that going and then i'll show you the progress from 2020 versus today okay so i'm gonna get the pump going big sprinkler going Back in this area, what I found is that I can let it run for about an hour and it'll drop three quarters of an inch. And then basically every hour for the rest of the day, I will reposition the sprinkler in between now and late this afternoon, I'll get this entire back section covered. This is about, uh, it's about two acres, an acre and three quarters that we have from here back. And that includes everything that we planted last fall. And then I've got my buckwheat over there. It's showing a little bit of heat stress, but I gotta get these trees. These trees done first. They're gonna be most important. This initial setup takes a few minutes, but I connected all the hose. I've got about 500 feet of this uh, two inch lay flat hose. So I'm all the way at the back now. I've got the sprinkler hooked up over there. And before I hooked up the sprinkler, I ran the pump for four or five minutes and then followed the whole stretch of hose, make sure it didn't have any twists or kinks or anything like that. Those are all worked out. So now I can go turn the pump back on and that thing will start shooting off. All right, we'll let that run for about an hour and then we'll come back and move it. Uh, it's not quite reaching the end of these rows. So the last two trees and all these rows, I'll have to come back and hand water, but not the end of the world. Uh, I'll, I'll just use my big stock tank and um, hook that onto the back of the tractor. 
or on the forks of the tractor, either one. Anyway, fill the big stock tank with water, bring it over here, and then just drop a bucket of water on each of these trees. We've done that plenty before and it works out just fine. So if you want to see the progress of almost a year and a half, this is what it looks like. I mentioned at the beginning of the video, somebody commented on, on a video from February 2020, and uh, here's some footage from that video. And you can see the trees when they're first planted are really thin and um, obviously pretty short and it's tough to see day by day how much these things grow. In fact, all around me right here, we have trees that we planted in the fall of last year, fall 2020, and they have not really filled in yet, though they've shot off a tiny bit of new growth. It won't be until next year when they really start to look full. But if you wanna see what our first trees from spring 2019 look like, that's what these are over here. I mean, they're starting to look like real trees. Yes, they're still kind of small, but they are much fuller. They're starting to get a lot better shape. And I'll give you a little side by side here because in this section where I'm standing, we actually had a couple trees die our first year. And then last fall with those trees over there, I planted a couple uh, trees here uh, amongst the, the holes that we had. So I can show you what a somewhat freshly planted seedling looks like next to one that's been established now for two years. So here's what that looks like. This is a seedling from last fall. It's about 18 inches tall. It really hasn't put on much new growth yet at all. Uh, it looks pretty thin. It's actually a little pale. It probably needs some fertilizer. Uh, but that won't be something that I'll do until the fall. So if it makes it through this year's warm season, let's hope it does, I'll go ahead and give it a good healthy dose of fertilizer so it can get itself well established in our cooler fall weather. And then we'll give it another dose in the spring. And that's what I've been doing with these other spruces up here is I hit them in the fall with some fertilizer, I hit them again in the spring, and they have really greened up and gotten full. And I love the way that some of these look. I have not yet done any shearing on any of these. And as far as height, I didn't bring a tape measure out here, but we're, you know, not quite hip high on me. I've got a few around here that are a little taller. I've got some that are a little fuller, but this is a good representation of what a two-year-old tree looks like. I believe these were two, two transplants when they went in the ground. And uh, like you can see, they've done pretty well. This is a, a Norway spruce. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and the Norway spruces have done uh, the best here on our property. Well, there you have it. You can see how much the trees have grown. It's really satisfying to compare that old video footage to where these trees are today. And uh, I am thankful for all the things that we've learned. I'm thankful that we're generally having some successes out here. I know I share a lot of the failures on the channel and I, I don't want to always make it sound like doom and gloom out here but there's a lot to learn early on starting a tree farm and if you don't have a background in this you don't have training in this uh it, it's it's a lot to learn and there's a i think a pretty steep learning curve we've also come to find out that our soil is a challenge here being a clay soil it was pretty deficient still is pretty deficient and a number of key nutrients so we're playing catch up on some of that and you can see behind me some of those spruces that we planted in the fall are a little pale some are greener than others, and uh, I think that is purely a nutrient thing. So we need to get on that with those trees. But uh, anyway, got the sprinkler running back there. You can see it. I got to get these trees through our hot Virginia summer this year, and all of the survivors are going to get special treatment come fall and then you know into next year as well to make sure that they can be as healthy as they can be. I appreciate you following the journey. Uh, you know, the channel continues to grow. It's fun. It, uh, I went through a little dry spell, not producing any videos for a few weeks, and uh, getting back in the swing of things now feels pretty good. Uh, thanks to those of you who reached out. There were several of you wondering what's going on and why I didn't publish any videos for a while. But uh, I'm here. Just been busy and uh, going to try to keep up a good pace for you guys, keep you updated on all the stuff that we're doing out here. And we've got all the flowers going on, so there's a lot of progress to update in the next several weeks as those flowers grow and then start to bloom. So if you don't already subscribe, hit that subscribe button. You can follow our process and you can comment on all our future videos. I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.